What's happening guys? I have here Simba from the new Disney Pop line. This one had Rafiki with a baby Simba and then Simba in, I get, what are we calling this one? Anyway, is it, I can't wait to be king outfit, something like that. Let me know what this is being referred to as because I have no idea. And I probably should have looked that up. Now this one is big, so careful when opening this up. If you just pull on this tab here, you're gonna end up ripping the corners of the box. Grab it from down here and you'll be able to pull them out really nice and easily. Pro tips, because I've done this quite a lot. I wanna say upwards of 500 times, almost. Quite close to it though. So impressive, he is very heavy. The face looks great. Um, the color here around the eyes and stuff, I can already see it's a little kind of messy. I'm gonna have to manually focus this guy in so you can kind of see and the bits there around the eyes are kind of messy when it comes to the paint job. And I think that the color should have been a little more intense, kind of like it is on the ears here. The ears have the right color, whereas the eyes are a lot more subtle. And I feel like I recall it being, I don't know, a lot more color. There used to be a lot more color around his eyes or something. It used to be much more vibrant. But besides that, the intensity and the details that you can see on this, what do we want to call this thing that he's wearing here? It's not a cowl, it's, what I mean, leave me a comment, let me know what you'd refer to it as. But this entire feathered thing that's going on around here is absolutely intense and amazing. There's not too many details on it, and I'd have to do a side-by-side -side of like images from the cartoon itself to see what is missing. Uh, but it kind of looks like it's just dirtied up a little bit, and that's it. So we pull in all the way here. You can kind of see what I mean by all these black splotches and stuff like that that are on here. That sort of stuff. But otherwise, impressive for it to be like its own whole mold on top of that, in addition to the head itself. Uh, you can see lots of bits of uh, glue under here and stuff. Nothing too crazy, like you can clean that up definitely. But you can make out all the glue and stuff that was involved with like one getting this mold out for the head and then putting it together with this one it must have been quite the endeavor uh the rest of the the feet and everything like that underneath here that looks pretty much solid and i really have no complaints about that but otherwise this is really it looked like a labor intensive pop so i'm surprised they went for something like that it looks really good though it looks really good again it's uh it's uh, something nice to see that they keep improving upon the more simple pops that came out a long time ago. Especially with this Disney stuff. All the Disney stuff, especially, like, look at the most recent Maleficent that was exclusive to Hot Topic. And some of the newer stuff that's coming out for Disney Treasures. That stuff has really improved a lot in the terms of the details. And you have a lot of people going back and buying the same princesses and the same characters over and over because of what they're doing. Uh, there is the new Disney princesses that are coming out as well, which has a lot of people revisiting characters that had already been released. So definitely something to keep in mind. Let me know what you guys think about all of these new Disney pops that they're coming up with. Uh, for now, guys, that is the latest Simba, whatever we're calling it, with his big red, I don't know, wreath that he's wearing. Thank you guys for watching, and happy hunting.